Hey guys, Drewski here, and I've had a lot of questions, I would say, in the past three years that pertain to something like this. How do you get into these milsim games on Arma 3, or how do you do these big operations, and how do you have these specialized, you know, roles, like an A-10 Warthog gunplay? I can't, I don't know how to do this, I don't know how to figure it out, or anything like that. A lot of people tell me that they purchase Arma, and then they open up the game, and they play some single player missions and they don't really have fun because it's hard to really know what to do to get to the point where you can get into those large scale milsim operations in something like Arma 3. And I would definitely suggest before getting into Arma 3, getting into a game like Squad 1, it's cheaper and 2, it's very easy to hop into a more realistic form of combat, especially because it's a PvP sort of combat. So Squad is a good game I would say to hop into first before you get into Arma 3 three just because it's a good game to always kind of fall back on you want some milsim realistic warfare uh, semi milsim semi realistic warfare uh, and you want it fast and you want it simple well squad is the game for you and you might not want to get arma 3 first but if you want to get into that more larger scale what you've seen on dyslexies videos what you've seen on Operator Juski Milsim videos, if you if you watch anybody else who does big Arma 3 Milsims, I would say definitely grab Arma 3 if you're will if you're thinking about it, because it is a very, very good game. It just takes a little bit of guidance to get you in the right area. So first off, Arma 3 is split into hundreds of thousands of different clans. A lot of these clans are private or they have a sign up or it's like rank oriented and you have to, you know, rank up to to private first class before you can actually join an operation. You got to go through training and all that. And sometimes it's kind of complicated. I think that I used to even host a clan like that and I think it was a little bit too complicated for the average person's taste of just, hey, I want to get into a milsim and get into it fast, you know, I'll follow orders and do whatever you guys want, I just want to, you know, play in a large scale milsim event in Arma. And for some people, it's just a little bit too much, it's too much work, too much effort to put in uh, when going into an Arma clan. Well, actually, recently, as of like, I would say 2017. Um, I kind of closed down my Arma clan and we started just doing Arma Ops uh, with a core group of people. I mean six to ten people. Lately we started opening it up to some of my Patreons and some of my subscribers on Twitch, which uh, is in my Discord by the way. So if you're a Twitch Prime sub or if you're a Twitch sub or if you're a Patreon supporter, you can actually join us in Ops from time to time by the way. Um, it'll just be like information will go in the subs and pats channel of like, hey we're having an op or hey we're having a night where we play a certain game and then most people will hop on and join. So um, the river op, I forgot which op it was, the, the, the last Armor 3 operation I had on my channel was one that we had with our subs and pats, um, which is what I call the subscribers and patrons. Uh, but it was really really fun and it's a good way to like kind of limit the amount of people that are able to join because sometimes we don't want 50 people to join uh, but then also it's nice to still have like 15 instead of 5 so we do like to have our small scale operations and that's a really really good way I think that that's one of the best ways that you can experience Arma is get some friends together get, get 5 to 15 you know close buddies together and have a really just chill private milsim night on Arma and you know you can do whatever you want as long as you agree with the Zeus or whoever is the game maker of that mission then everybody's kind of having a good time because they can always like, ask for help and everybody knows each other personally so I think that that's the best way to play Arma 3 is playing with your friends uh, with a larger group of friends and not like just five friends but with like 15 or so friends even grabbing some randoms here and there is fine as long as you have the majority of people knowing who each other are and knowing kind of how to communicate and kind of having a basic plan of how much you want to be realistic how how realistic you want the communication to be or how laid back you want it to be that's uh, finding that balance in the role play there is always kind of difficult but when you have friends there it's much much easier uh, the thing is though I know a lot of you might not have friends I'm not saying that in a rude way I didn't have friends when I started playing online games on PC the friends that you guys see in my videos are people that used to watch my videos when I was at 15 or 5 or 10,000 subs and eventually they hopped on and, and kind of joined me in my games and now we're best buds and so all my friends came from my 
my YouTube channel, which is ironic. Um, but if I didn't have my YouTube channel, it'd be really hard to make friends. I would have to make friends in the games, which is quite difficult. So I understand a lot of you watching the videos might not have that group of friends that also play games. I had a lot of friends in high school, but they didn't play PC games. They didn't play Milsim games at all. It's hard to find people that do. So first off, I would suggest going to our looking for group channel in our discord again i'm not sponsored by discord i'm a discord partner but i'm i know i'm shouting out my discord like twice now but it's a really really good place we have 10,000 people in a in a discord and it's a great community um but if you go to the looking for group tab and you say hey i'd be interested in playing some armor 3 um then definitely some other people will be interested in playing some armor 3 with you uh it, it's it's just a really really good place to find people to play games because there's 10,000 people in that discord and they're all like-minded to an extent, uh, so you should be able to find some people there that would want to play on, on some private operations if you want to Zeus or if you want somebody else to Zeus. Um, that's that's a good way to do it. And I also will be supplying in the description of this video a Google Drive link. That Google Drive link will uh, be the mod pack that we used for our last Arma 3 operations. So if you want to get started with the mods that we used in our Arma 3 operations, that is the way to go. That's the mod pack that we use for mostly every op. Sometimes we change a few mods here and there, but like Ace, Blast Core, JSRS, those are just the shiz, the sham. That's what we use in every op, so there you go. Now my third suggestion is actually a pretty different one, and this is one that I actually found out recently because they uh, were actually helping us with our DayZ server. We had some problems with our old DayZ server host survival servers. They were laggy, they were just terrible. We hosted with them on Rust before, and they didn't really work out. So I tweeted on Twitter, I was like, hey, does anybody have any ideas for a server host? And people were giving me suggestions, and eventually KarmaKut helped me out uh, with a server host and stuff but uh, we actually had a clan from Arma 3 called the FK clan this is the clan that uh, does a lot of public Milsim ops but they're also pretty realistic as well and they said hey we could you know we could supply a server for you and I said oh no thanks you know karma could already helped me out with a server um, but I knew that they had done operations before because I heard of their clan somewhere I don't know really how I heard of their clan probably YouTube videos or something but uh, they are FK, and I'll put up on the screen what FK stands for, <laughs> but I can't say it out loud or probably I'll get demonetized. FK does these really, really cool operations where they have these realistic kind of milsim based operations with very large scales. Sometimes they, I think the largest, uh, the largest operation that I was in was a 70 player, maybe a 50. I'm not exactly sure, but still once it goes past 50, it kind of all feels the same because you're never with that many people in one spot anyways. Um, but they have these very, very large scale operations that are really, really well made. The Zeus's are awesome. They work really, really hard to keep the mission dynamic and, and, and interesting. We were always getting flanked. We were always having challenges, even though we were a huge team with hundreds of numbers, not hundreds, uh, de dozens of numbers, uh, then we were still having troubles in the operations and we were still having difficulties. And the operations are pretty short and sweet. The rules are very basic. You can't leave an operation during the middle of it. And they're short enough that really you can dedicate some time and say, hey, I don't wanna leave for an hour. And so I can do this operation. Usually operations are about an hour to an hour and a half. So they're really not that long. They're very easy to hop in and hop out. All you have to do is just download the mod pack, have everything installed, go on under TeamSpeak, and sit there and be good to go by 1 p.m. and then people start slotting up for the server. Because they were so nice to me, they they actually let me in for a few ops and let me kind of have kind of like a, not not a VIP access, but just they, they really did help me a lot and, and I really felt special when they were talking to me and, and, and helping me out with stuff and getting me into the, the clan and kind of teaching me how to do it. But I feel as, as if it wasn't just because I'm me, because I'm a YouTuber, but I feel like they would have treated every single person that came into that Discord and needed some help getting into the ops I feel like they would have treated them exactly the same I really do suggest FK and I'll leave a link down in the description down below for the 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 website you can go look up their TeamSpeak information there once you hop on their TeamSpeak you can probably ask for help on how to install mods and all that sort of stuff and trust me I know how it is when you join these big groups or when you even join a small group of really serious role play milsim hardcore realistic guys and you feel like you don't know enough you're almost scared or you're you don't have the self-confidence to really do much in the operation just because you don't know much about how to act and how to kind of 
uh, be in that situation. You don't know what to say at certain points. You don't know how to how to really work out a combat scenario in a game. And the I guess the best answer for that is to let your squad mates know that you are not. Uh, very educated in, let's say, radio communications or something like that. People in Arma, especially if you're actually in-game, if you're with them in-game, they will be willing to help you out if you're in their squad and if you're right beside them. They'll be willing to help you out, like most Arma players will, and they're, they're going to be really open and, and kind of inviting to teach you how to do stuff in Arma. If you feel not confident enough to, like, let's say engage in a firefight or be in a be in a squad of infantry squad and because just because you don't know enough then just ask your squad leader or ask your teammates hey what should i do in this situation what should i do in that situation and just notify them as, as well notify them that you don't know as much as a normal player does you're you're brand new to armor 3 or something you might not even know the controls yet and that's perfectly fine. As long as you let your team know about that, then they will be willing to kind of let it slide, as well as allow you to learn stuff, teach you stuff, and kind of build your experience in the game on your first operation or first few ops. Well, guys, that'll be it for me today. Hopefully, I taught you something. Hopefully, I helped you find a way into the Arma 3 Milsim, you know, world. Just basically, in conclusion, it's, it's best to play Milsim with your close buddies. And if you can't, you can always go on a Discord like mine and go search for new people to play with and make your own little group. I, I wouldn't suggest joining any clans that have a really tight application process and have training and all that sort of stuff, especially if you felt if you feel like they're led by like tw like 12 or 13 year olds, then don't do it. Uh, they always fall and fail within three months and you don't want to join one of those. You'll have a bad experience. And secondarily, always know that a group like FK is willing to take on new participants at any time, and they're really nice and open. I bet there's a lot of groups like them, it's just that I've heard of them before from like years ago, and then also they're still, you know, they're still pumping out ops every single day. So I can't advertise them enough, they are a really, really good group to play with. And I definitely had a lot of experience with them so far, I've, I think I've done three or four ops with them now, to really know that they are consistent in their operations. and. Overall, you can have a lot of fun there, and they're pretty nice people. And at the very end of the day, realize that you're you're not really doing a true milsim event. You know, it's it's not like a it's not like you're in the military. At the end of the day, you're you're dressed in your pajama pants. You're not wearing a shirt. Your your ceiling fan is on because it's hot in your room, and you're role playing as a Navy SEAL on a computer at 25 fps so don't take it too seriously that's my what's my biggest tip you can possibly possibly ever get don't take it too seriously if you're a new person in the game don't take it too seriously if you're a squad leader or if you're the leader of a super hardcore milsim clan you're just as hardcore as the you know crumbles of toast in the bottom of your toaster that yeah those ones and in the end we're all just having a good time with our friends wearing funny digital costumes but it's a very explosive and fiery and dangerous and violent time. So it's a good time, nonetheless. Well, alrighty, guys. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Uh, I would definitely suggest watching the last squad video if you didn't. I got a super cool kill streak in it. Uh, the next few videos that are probably coming up are a Tarkov thermal scope video during a foggy night in Interchange. Uh, as usual, it's always Interchange content. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it for the future. And I will see you in the next one.